Philly. Dame Lillard in a little bit of a slump. The Sixers playing without Tobias Harris and without Joel Embiid. As you'll see, there's Dame Lillard. We also have Joel not playing, not in uniform. So first quarter, Lillard he drives to the hoop. Can't quite get the friendly roll, but he gets the foul. Listen to the Philly crowd here at the line. Chance going up here at the center. I heard it. City incredibly love. <laughs> we showed the love. I know what it is and I know what it's about, but you know, I'm in trouble. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the the respect, you know, that, that they show and the desire or whatever. But I mean, I'm a uh, ten toes in in Grip City. So back in the game, third quarter, 76ers up by five. Danny Green lobs it to Andre Drummond, and Drummond did more than score. Later in the third, Drummond feeds George Niang. You know that's good. Drummond had 14 points, 15 rebounds, and seven assists. And then later in the fourth, 76ers up seven. Seth Curry gets in his bag, hits the three from the wing. Curry had a game-high 23 points, and the 76ers win it. Here's Doc Rivers on the win. Yeah, it was great. You know, I was joking with Michael Rue and I said, you only had 105 million on not in the game tonight. Nah, you know, so it, it was um, just a good team effort. It's one of those games I thought every single guy did something to help us win the game. They kind of stayed within their roles. Uh, they understood, you know, what we needed, getting to the paint and creating plays. I thought we did that tonight. So Philadelphia now has three straight wins, and but health concerns are remaining. They're without Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, and Danny Green. They're all on the mend. Welcoming in our senior writer and reporter, Ramona Shelbert. Embiid was out for a rest day, but how is his knee progressing, Ramona? Really well. He's going to play tomorrow against Chicago. Danny Green's going to be out because he had a hamstring injury suffered in that game. But but Joel Embiid is progressing really well with his knee. And, and also that rest day gave him a chance to get in the lab with his personal trainer, Drew Hanlon, and go over some some areas where he thinks he can improve his game and help the Sixers get, play the, the way they need to without Ben Simmons, without Tobias Harris, without Danny Green now. But he's going to play against Chicago. Joel in, Danny Green out. You mentioned it, Ben Simmons. We can't have a 76ers segment without asking you no. about Ben Simmons. So what's the latest on his possible return to Philadelphia? Well, Malika, there's been frustration mounting, according to people close to the situation, that Ben has not been accepting any of the help that the team has offered him in terms of helping him with his, ready, with his mental readiness mm. and he has been working with mental health professionals through the players association but thus far I'm told he hasn't really kept the team in the loop on that and there's a there is frustration mounting there that they want to know okay you're you're out due to mental you know you need to get mentally ready to play um, but so far he's just done individual work with some of their with some of their position coaches he hasn't been back in with the team and he's not providing the team with any updates on what he's doing to to get back and get himself in, in just back with the team and, and participating in team activities interesting so it doesn't really seem like there's a firm timeline yet there's no him. timeline no timeline on when he could be coming back philly hosts the bulls tomorrow night thank you so much ramona thanks please Micah. don't go too far as for the blazers on the other side damian lillard was seven of 20 from the field and two of nine from three and portland star season is still a a work in progress. I always look at uh, struggles as an opportunity to to show my true character. You know what I'm saying? I, I, when things go great, you know, it's a lot of praise that, that comes along with that. And a lot of people give you a lot of credit. You know, they speak really highly on you. But I think it says more when, you know, you're going through something. You know, it's kind of hitting the fan. You're struggling and everybody got something to say. Um, to me, the, the real ones can you know, they can keep on trucking, you know, and keep on going and still find a way to to get the job done. Dame has made just 15 of his 65 attempts from free, the, th free three this season, which is just 23%, and that ranks last in the NBA among players with at least 50 attempts. And it's a small sample size, as Lillard is a 37% career shooter from deep. So joined again by Perk, Cheney, and Zach. And Perk, you just heard Damian Lillard say, after he struggled and talked to reporters, that games like this – times like this, it builds character. What does he need to do to start having the success we're accustomed to seeing from him? 
Well, I think it's simple. He just has to have a mental reset, right, and and just decompress a little bit. Because we have to remember, right, Damian Lillard is taking on a lot right now for us with the, the trade rumors and whether or not he should get out of Portland and, you know, whether one of his teammates should be traded. And that's a lot on the riding on the shoulders of your franchise guy who really never been through that. We know Damian Lillard to be just this terrific basketball player, but now he's seeing the other side of it, of, of the business side of it, where he's actually getting the opportunity to have his input in calling the shot. So I just think Dame has to take a step back, reset his mind, lock in on hooping, and I think he'll be just fine. Absolutely. I completely agree, Perk. And I think I might be a little crazy for saying this, but like Dame <laughs> is allowed a shooting slump for nine yeah. years yeah. in this league. He has really held it down. Last year, for example, his uh, running mate, CJ McCollum, Yusuf Nurkic, Zach Collins, missed 187 games. And who held them together? Damian Lillard. Mm. Um, you look overall, I mean, this guy, I, always, I gave a stat a little while ago that Steph runs a lot. Dame leads the league in miles run per game since 2013. He's the leader. So he's allowed to, you know, put his foot off the grass a little bit and just find a shot. We know it's coming. So I hear a lot of people say, oh, he's got a shooting slump. This man will be just fine. And you're right, Perk. He's been dealing with a lot. And sometimes it manifests itself at the start of the season and not having your rhythm. But he's going to be just fine. You, you fan yourself over there, Perk. You taking yeah. flames from Cheney? When that good gospel <laughs> First three Baptist church get to preach is that time. Is that time. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and to Cheney and, and Perk's point, you know, 29% through his first four games from three last year. That was around where he is now, a little bit higher than that 23%. But then he jumped back up to 39%. And that I was mean, his third best shooting percentage over the course of his career. But, Zach, this is the first year for Chauncey Billups. So is it a system thing that's impacting Lillard or is it a larger issue that you see there? This is Damian Lillard. This is his 10th season. There are things I worry about in life, in my life, in the <laughs> NBA life. Damian Lillard's three-point percentage is not one of them. And everyone is searching so hard for explanations. The system's different, this and that. You look at the numbers, his pick and roll volume, about the same. Portland is still a low assist team, high off the dribble three team. All of it is still basically the same. It's a little different. It's just a shooting slump. If it were February, we wouldn't be talking about it as much. It happens to be the start of the season. Damian Lillard will be fine. I will say, Perk mentioned the trade rumors. He said 10 toes deep in Rip City last night. He rapped, he freestyled about wanting to be the next Greek freak and Dirk. Like, I get that you can sort of walk back anything you say. But he's kind of painting himself into like I'm back in the stay in Portland for life corner. He's, he's not he's not like like talking around it. He's being direct. Yeah, absolutely. He told us I wanted to get in front of it and tell tell people if we had a slump, if I had an individual slump, if anything happened, that's that's not going to be what affects me staying in Rip City. And Dame and the Blazers are back in action tomorrow night in Cleveland. So coming up on NBA Today, it's the best of the best, the top of the top from Monday. Find out if this Nikola Jokic pass made 